I'm Anil Kumar and here is a problem from the test paper, Introduction to Calculus. The question is, find the equation of the tangent line to the function f of x equals to 5 minus 2x divided by 3x plus 4 at x equals to minus 1. Now first thing is, let's find the point. So what is the value of y at minus 1? So f of minus 1 is how much? This is the first thing you should do. Let's substitute x as minus 1. So we get 5 minus 2 times minus 1 divided by 3 times minus 1 plus 4. And that gives us 5 plus 2 as 7 and uh, minus 3 plus 4 as 1. So that is 7. So therefore the point is basically minus 1, 7. Correct? So that's the point. So we need to find equation of tangent line to this function at the point minus 1, 7. Now what is the equation of tangent line? For that we need to first find the slope. So let's first find the slope of tangent line and we'll use the principles of limit which we have just learned uh, to find the slope of the tangent line. So we can say the slope of the tangent line m is equal to limit of you can say x approaches or delta or you say h approaches 0 where uh, f of x plus h minus f of x over h becomes the difference quotient right so this is the change in y values we are taking a point which is very very close to minus 1 so we are taking a point which is let us say at minus 1 plus h right so let's that let's let's say the point q this is the point p for us is at minus 1 plus h right in that case the y value will be f of x plus h right so we i should say f of minus 1 plus h so just h units away and if h is very very close then the secant slope becomes the tangent for the curve so in this expression will replace x in our case is minus 1 so in our case since we are trying to find slope at x equals to minus 1 we get the expression as limit h approaches 0 f of minus 1 plus h minus f of minus 1 over h so I hope you understand the concept how from the equation which is a general equation we got the slope of the function right so let's now substitute these values in the function and find the answer so what we get here is limit h approaches 0 this method is also called the first principle method right so we'll substitute in this equation minus 1 plus h for x so we get 5 minus 2 times minus 1 plus h divided by 3 times minus 1 plus h plus 4. So that is f of minus 1 plus h minus f of minus 1 which we already calculated as 7. So that is 7 divided by h. Now so divided by h I prefer to write this like this divided by h is like 1 over h. Correct? So that becomes divided by h. So I'm trying to save on space a very limited space to solve this question. It will actually take half more than half the page so let's now simplify it so we can multiply all this denominator by 7 and we'll simplify the numerator let us do it in steps okay 5 minus let's open the bracket 5 minus and minus becomes 2 so it becomes 7 minus 2 times h is minus 2h correct so that is the numerator in this case 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 minus 3 plus 4 is plus 1 and then we have plus 3h minus 7 and everything multiplied by 1 over h correct so so now we will do limit h approaches 0 and we'll cross multiply so we have 7 minus 2h and we are taking common denominator of 1 plus 3h right we will multiply both by minus 7 1 plus 3h that's the whole concept times 1 over h now let's write this as limit h approaches 0 
let's simplify this expression so let me just expand and write it down first okay so 7 minus 2h minus minus 7 and minus 21 h yeah over 1 over h so it is equals to limit h approaches 0 and uh, what do we get here 7 minus 7 is 0 and minus 21 and minus 2 will give us minus 23 minus 23h divided by 1 plus 3h 1 plus 3h times 1 over h now h and h cancel out so we get limit h approaches 0 and within brackets we have minus 23 over 1 plus 3h so what we did at this stage is we cancel this common factor do you see that now I can substitute h equals to 0 so this is an equivalent expression right uh, where the restriction is that h cannot be equal to 0 but it's kind of equivalent so now we'll substitute h equals to 0 here if you substitute that you get minus 23 over 1 which is minus 23 so what we find here is that the slope of the tangent is m at this point minus 23 now the question is find equation of tangent line to the function right so what we know now is so we know slope m uh, at minus 1 is equals to minus 23 and the point is given to us as minus 1 and 7 correct now knowing this we can find equation of line so equation of line should be y equals to mx plus b is the form which we we can use you can use point intercept form also okay so that could be another way of doing it but i'll use this so slope here is given to us as let me write down this as y equals to slope is minus 23 and x values minus 1 okay I didn't write okay so let me write this plus plus b right now y value is given to us as 7 so, so let me rewrite so 7 equals to minus and minus is plus 23 uh, plus b so slope is uh, minus 23 for us and the point is minus 1 and 7 so we can substitute that point so let me rewrite here y slope is minus 23 so we'll write minus 23x plus b now we'll substitute x and y values and find b correct so from here you know b is equals to 7 minus 23 correct and so we get that is equals to minus of uh, 23 minus 7 gives us 13 minus 7 is uh, 6 so we get 16 right 16 so minus 16 so from here we can write that the equation of the tangent line is y equals to minus 23 x minus 16 right so that becomes the equation of the tangent line for the given function at p which is x equals to minus 1 so go through this solution try to understand how we solved it and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.